beautiful soul family, soul tribe, family of light, star seeds, light workers, family and friends. Welcome. This is Patricia, eleven eleven. So I'm coming to you uh, for a mini meditation. So you could start off the reading with the mini meditation, and this will be for all the signs. Okay. So um, yeah. So I'm going to invoke uh, first. Um, my higher self and the Holy Spirit, and of course, uh, our beloved universe, our beloved Mother Gaia, to sustain and protect us in the reading and the meditation. <laughs> um, I'm going to invoke, of course, my fairies, my angels, my archangels, my spirit guides, uh, and last but not least, uh, my ancestors. Okay, so let's get started. Take a deep breath in. I will call in Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space, and I will do that for you if you want. Clear my energy and space, and also for you. With love, comfort, and peace. Then I will invoke Archangel Raphael. For those of you that want to embrace the healing light of Archangel Raphael, green, emerald, and pink infusion of light to your heart chakra. And anywhere that you need this type of healing, time for Archangel Raphael. Take a deep breath in and then release. Then we're going to call upon Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life. Set your intentions. For the collective one more time archangel michael for a breakthrough in your life set your intentions and for the collective as well set your intentions last but not least we're gonna call upon archangel gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with light, love, unity, compassion, kindness, protection, abundance in all shape, way, and forms, wealth in all shape, way, or forms. And if there's anything else you want to add, set your intentions. One more time. For Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective, please send your intentions if you like. And so it is. Hello, my beautiful soul family. This is Patricia 1111 coming to you with uh, your weekly reading from April 4th to the 10th of 2022. I laid out the cards to see which of the signs comes out, which of the signs will be coming out right now, uh, the next one. And uh, I just finished doing Virgo and Capricorn. And now we're going to see what the third sign is. The third sign is Gemini. Should I stay or should I go? 
uh, this is moon and Gemini indecision. It could also be uh, if uh, so. In general, it's a. Uh, this could be for Gemini Sun and anywhere that you have Gemini in your chart. This is your reading. Anytime you see this, will be the right time for you. If the read is the reading resonates, claim it. If not, look at your other placements. Okay, uh, on your chart in your chart. Um, yeah. So gems. That's what's going on here. <laughs> Indecision. So uh, before we get started with the tarot cards, I am going to take out a few cards of the oracles because a lot of you have asked me to bring back the oracle cards. So I am. And um, I'm also setting up new ways. I'm setting up uh, a new outlook um, in the coming months here for me and Sandy to be visible because I want Sandy to be visible in the readings as well. So I have to make some re rearrangements, okay, in my room. But uh, I will be coming back, and so you could see me and Sandy again. So let's see what's happening here. I will take out three cards, one from your recent past, current energy, and in immediate future. Higher power, number four. Okay, so this is about you stepping in with your higher self, your energy. I see like you connecting yourself with your higher self, the divine, the universe energy, your spirit guides, your angels here. This is about higher learning and higher power. Uh, a lot of angels energy around are around you at this time okay so let's see what's in your current energy you have time for a nap and then you have why so you've been asking a lot of questions see you have four 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 the 31 becomes a four you have a four here so four 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 that's definitely that the angels are around you supporting you guiding you loving you uh, throughout this journey okay um now also what i'm being shown is four four two four two four will be maybe a sign that you're seeing or like numerology that you're seeing it, you guys need to, a lot of you are integrating at this time a lot of the like upgrades and downloads that are coming in a lot of you are going through your spiritual awakening so there's a there's a time for you to when you need when your body feels tired you will need to take time out and take a nap or just go to bed early here okay and you you, you have a lot of questions you have a lot of questions about maybe your angels you have a questions about what's taking place in the world uh, i will take an extra card for the why energy okay so let's just take an extra card for the why so just asking a lot of questions you've been asking a lot of questions uh, you are connected with your angels and your higher self and the universe here that you or and your spirit guides that you could ask the questions and most of it sometimes you will uh, this is a channel message because it's coming in very quickly so when I talk very quickly it's not because I'm rushing the reading it's because when I have messages from spirit that wants to be told it's going to come out very quick some of you it's during your nap time during your sleep time that you will receive these messages whatever in a dream or in a vision that you're having okay so let's look at the why energy here. This is a, you know, you're asking a lot of questions here and it's okay to ask questions. Ask as many as you want. So to the sea, it's showing me that among also uh, your spiritual also, and like you being a spiritual being here, um, I feel here that you are going through a transition. Okay, so you are going through a transition uh, to a better place where the healing is done. Um I feel that you're being guided all the way. There's guidance for you all the way. There's always someone watching you. Uh, could be a loved one that crossed over, or just your uh, your you know your spirit guides, your angels, your uh, guardian angel for some of you also here. And so it's a time of transition that you're going through. So even though you're asking all these questions. You could ask questions as much as you want, but you cannot control the outcome of what's coming in t towards you. Like, what, let's say you ask a question, I don't know about, like, when is this going to happen? Uh, when a situation is going to happen? Uh, you have to give time for the angels to bring you those answers, but most of it is going to be done through dream time. I do believe that, okay? So these are your oracle cards, and now let's start with your reading. Okay, let's start with your reading. After that, I will clarify the cards and then I will give you also um, two other oracle cards that I took out. And uh, it's, oh, that card wanted to come out. You got the star card. Look at this. It came out, but I don't know. I'm going to put it back into the deck. If it has to come back out again, it will. Okay, so the star card talks about hope, optimism, happiness, and health, and uh, faith being restored. And some type of dream coming true for you, okay? Gemini, my beautiful gems. I hope that you are well. So let's see what's going on here for you. Okay. You 
We've got Justice Reversed in the recent past. The World Reversed in the recent past. And the Eight of Wands Reversed in the recent past. So this is the recent past energy. and the current energy, you have the Seven of Swords Reversed. The Nine of Cups Reversed. Don't worry about the cards being reversed. And the hangman reversed. Okay. In the immediate future, you've got the ace of cups reversed. The seven of pentacles reversed. And the three of pentacles upright. <laughs> Okay, when they're reversed like that, it doesn't mean it's a bad reading. It just means that Spirit is showing uh, to you the gems and those of you that are coming in to watch the gems here, uh, what they have been going through, okay? And the possible outcome is, you got a few cards here. Okay, the devil. And you got four other cards I'm going to show you in a second. So definitely what's happening, okay, uh, is that this time a lot of you, in the overall energy you got two cards with the five of swords reversed here a lot of you have released people okay that had not that did not have your back people that didn't want to see ha your your happiness gemini uh there could have been lies and deceit and this is the energy that's uh, leaving you at this time the judgment that's coming in here for you there's a higher calling just like your higher uh, with with your oracle card okay higher, higher power Okay, so there's a higher calling that's taking place here for you and you are going through an awakening and a rebirth at this time in a situation that you had to let go of. Now, let's uh, check here. In the, in, the in the recent past here, these three cards signify that there was some type of delay in messages coming in. Okay, with the world reversed here, it talks about tying up loose ends to a situation that things were unjust. Maybe it could have been a court case for some of you. Others of you, uh, there could have been lies or something that was off balance. Now, uh, Libra energy here. In the current energy, you got the Seven of Swords reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, and the Hangman reversed. The Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, this could have been someone trying to get away, get, try to get away with something and some type of truth will be revealed. There is a wish fulfillment that you truly desire here. And with the Hangman, at one point... With the hangman here, it, it explains to me that at one point there was a, a sacrifice or a, a, a lot of you have been waiting for something. And again here, it shows me that you surrender to something here. There's a surrendering that's taking place for you. But it's also a spiritual awakening as well. And you're seeing clarity in a situation. Uh, in the immediate future, you got the Ace of Cups reversed. There's someone that's going within to find, to let love in, uh, to see what... Uh, what it means for them to have unconditional love, okay, to be at peace. Uh, so there is someone here going through like some type of, um, you know, metamorphosis, as I can see. Um, also with the Seven of Pentacles reversed here, it just shows me someone here had ha, has made a, uh, there was like a crossroads or something and, there are, and someone had to take a choice or a route or a path here. And in the hopes and fears, you got the Three of Pentacles. What it's being shown to me is that there is going to be collaboration and a strong foundation here in the situation. Uh, maybe things were unjust in the past, but something here is uh, what's showing up here is like there is going to be cooperation and um, a strong foundation here. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles. In the possible outcome, you've got a couple of cards here. You got the two of pentacles reversed, the cherry reversed, the ten of swords with the uh, the devil card. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. If not, this is Saturn energy. Uh, with the devil okay and um, what can I say with the devil card well it could be a lot there's could be neg neg negativity or poor decisions or poor poor choices or some type of addictions or feeling stuck in a situation I feel here it was something karmic that you had to go through with the ten of swords okay something karmic uh, an ending of something karmic here that uh, yeah there's been a lot of transformations for you the ten becomes a one so finally, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Something got dropped or a bug. It's like something got dropped, you know, like the truth got told or something like that. And with the cherry reverse cancer energy, uh, it doesn't have to be a cancer. But here it's about someone not being able to move forward. Someone here that's not that does not have a direction at this time to move forward 
or someone here that cannot take back their power. But we're going to clarify the cards and see what's going on here for you, okay? So let's see what's going on. I'm just going to shuffle the cards. see let's look at the overall energy <clears throat> i'm gonna take a, a couple of cards for the five of swords reversed why is the five of swords reversed here the six of swords reversed the king of wands why is the judgment card here the lovers the six of cups for some of you, this is a past, could be a past life uh, person that you know, uh, or in this lifetime. But for some of you, this is a past life. Okay, this has to do with lovers. There you are, Gemini. There's a divine connection here. Okay, there's a choice that has to be made. But again, with the judgment, there's a higher calling. There's an awakening and a rebirth that's taking place. This is about the past connections that you had. It could be a lover, a friend, a soulmate, a twin soulmate, or it could be anybody in your family or friends or environment. But whatever it is, you're for, for what I feel here very strongly is that there is a soul mate from another lifetime that's coming in here, okay, and or a twin soulmate. Whatever it is, there's something here that's coming into the forefront for you. Uh, I feel that, uh, you know, with the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords reversed here, um, some of you are having a lot of difficulty uh, going through a transition here, okay? You're revisiting something over and over, and it's uh, very painful for you because the Five of Swords does say that this is people that did not have your back, and there could have been lies, okay? Uh, but I do see that there's a shift that's going to be taking place with this judgment coming in for you, okay? This could be a fire sign, such as or Aries. It doesn't have to be the sign, but there is someone here that's going to shift, okay? Or I feel that this is you shifting or... Uh, if there's someone else coming in here, there's a shift that's going to take place here for you, meaning that you're going to go after what you want. Okay, this is someone coming in uh, with a lot of passion and they're going after what they want. So definitely here, there's going to be a change in perspective with the Six of Swords reversed. Okay, now let's look at the judgment, uh, justice reversed here. Let's look at uh, justice reversed in the recent past and see what else is going on here for you. We got the Ten of Wands. Okay. The Ace of Cups is coming in upright. The King of Swords and the Six of Wands reversal. So definitely in the past year, there was things that was unjust for you, okay? Um, maybe it's not. It's about not being recognized uh, or in a situation or feel that like you haven't been rewarded or something was not successful. There could have been lies here. Okay, um, a lot of repressed emotions that took place. But what's showing up here for you is, yes, it was a very difficult uh, experience with the 10. You got the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands together, which was very difficult. It was obstacle over obstacle in the situation. But the 10 becomes a one and something is going to be lifted here where you are tired. There is exhaustion here. But um, I do feel that some of you might be uh, sleeping more or napping more, meditating more at this time. With the King of Swords energy, a King of Wands energy, this could be you an energy or just someone coming in in this type of energy here. This is someone that has a lot of knowledge. They do. They have a lot of power within them. They, they're people that observe from far. Uh, they're able to communicate with the heart and mind. And they know exactly what they want. They're really focused. They could be laid back or, uh, you know, they could be more laid back in energy, but they're very clear and focused when they come in. And What's coming in for you is the Ace of Cups energy. Okay, this is abundance that's coming in. This could be with the Ace of Cups energy. It could be like a new love that's coming in for you, uh, Gemini. Okay, uh, someone that, uh, or this is you, or someone else coming in towards you. Whatever it is, this is about unconditional love, being at peace. You might feel overwhelmed, but for me, the Ace of Cups signifies abundance that's coming in for you. Now, let's look at the Eight of Wands here, reverse, because there is some type of delay in messages not coming in. So why is the Eight of Wands reversed here for Gemini? You got the Hangman. What else is there? The Nine of Cups.
end the world. So you will be, in, and you there is going to be an ending of a cycle here for you. An ending of a cycle that's taking place with the world. Completion, okay? This is an end of, it's actually an important cycle. It could be <clears throat> graduating from something here. Um, coming full circle, all right? For new beginnings to take place. This is really a wish fulfillment. And it's coming in for you. You sacrificed a lot. You waited a long time for this, okay? And it's definitely coming in here for you. New beginnings are taking place. Now let's look at the world reversed here in the recent past. Why is the world reversed? The tower reversed. The star reversed. The six of pentacles. Yeah, it was definitely something that really, uh, maybe you were dealing with an Aquarius. I'm just putting out the signs for those that want to know. But it doesn't have to be an Aquarius energy. Uh, a lot of you lost hope, okay, in a situation that had lost faith in a dream coming true. Uh, you were a lot, uh, uh, at one point you were in denial. There was someone here that was in denial of this. And you are going to come to completion because the world is coming upright. So there's definitely, with the Six of Pentacles energy here, something is coming into balance here for you. And it's about receiving. So you are going to be receiving something here, okay? Now let's look at the current energy. you got the Seven of Swords reversed. So let's look at the Seven of Swords reversed. you got the Seven of Cups upright. The High Priestess. And the Eight of Cups. So a lot of you are walking away from something here. Uh, walking away from uh, situations that were not truthful, walking away from people that were not truthful, just walking away from these type of energies, okay? You're going after your Nine of Cups, which is right here, and your Ten of Cups. So you're actually walking away from something here, okay? You're moving on, and there could be travel for some of you. You're walking away and moving away from this type of energy. You have a lot of goals and dreams, but, uh, you know, again, like... Uh, this game board keeps showing up to me here all the time when I use this card. It's uh, for us, anyways, there were, it was called Snakes and Ladders, okay? So it was a board game where you could go up very quickly, but then come down really quickly because there is snakes around you. So in the, in the sense is that uh, you need to choose carefully which directions you need to go, okay? Because there could be some... Uh, uh, in the current energy, uh, it could be like confusion, okay? So just take your time because you do have a lot of dreams and goals here that you do truly want, and you need to follow your gut feeling and your intuition about this, okay? Because you do have a lot of wisdom here. So just keep trusting yourself and trust your gut, okay, in which direction you want to go. Now let's look at the Nine of Cups reversed here. And this is a wish fulfillment that's going to be granted to you, okay? So let's see this. The Four of Wands, the Three of Cups. There's going to be celebration here, yeah, definitely. A lot of celebration, okay? There's a wish fulfillment in the current energy. There could be some type of proposal or a happy event taking place in the home. And I do see celebrations around with your family and friends. With the Page of Cups, there is a new emotional experience. There's a new emotional ex person coming in or experience that's coming in for you, Gemini. Okay, and let's look at the Hangman, reversed. In the current energy the eight of swords reversed the seven of wands reversed the king of pentacles why is the seven of wands reversed the hermit reversed okay virgo energy is here too uh you know there there was a sacrifice that you had to do at one point okay there was a waiting but here it shows that you surrendered and there's a spiritual awakening you're coming out of maybe of a dark night of the soul or coming out of a time where You've been hermiting, okay, really following your own path and uh, taking time, family and friends, okay, uh, or, you know, meditating, reassessing, reflecting everything. With the Ace of Swords reversed, you're releasing a lot of, like, uh, the, you know, of uh, feeling stuck or feeling uh, uh, overthinking about something. You're coming out of a period where you also feel defeated as well because it's been a long journey for some of you, whatever the sacrifice was, but you are surrendering here. And what's coming in is the King of Pentacles. So you've got the King of Swords, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. This could be you and energy. This is about being reliable, being stable. It's about being uh, diplomatic. Uh, the King or Queen of their own castle. Very successful energy here. Very grounded and uh, very successful in a victory. Uh, that's, uh, and being recognized here in a situation. Okay, so that's very nice to see in the energy. Now, let's look at the in immediate future. You've got the Ace of Cups here reversed so what's this what this is all about the death this knight of swords 
the Nine of Cups reversed. Well, definitely there's a message that's going to be coming in for you. It might be a challenge coming in because someone here is not ready for it with the Nine of Cups reversed. Someone here cannot give in their emotions, but they're going to speak up. Uh, there's a death and rebirth that you're going to be going through, okay? Um, you have to be ready for this Knight of Swords because they have some mes messages that they want to bring to you. Uh, but there is going to be like an ending and a new beginning taking place. This is a beautiful transformation, Scorpio energy here. Definitely there is a message coming in for you. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups reversed. The Judgment again. This Page of Swords reversed. The Moon, yeah. Okay, Neptune and Pisces and energy is... Uh, so, it's the, okay. So definitely here, there's, like I said, there's a rebirth with the Judgment card, okay? Higher calling, awakening, and a rebirth that's going to be going on here for you. Uh, this is a connection that's not coming in. Could be a meeting, you know, a meeting of two people or romance. Or it doesn't have to be romance, but there's some type of, uh, you know, uh, communication not taking place here. Um, I feel that someone here is scared. They they have fears with the moon energy. They have fears. Uh, there could be like a deception, a illusion at this time, the unknown. Um, you know, you're not, someone here is not seeing clearly at this time with, uh, with the moon card. You know, it could be a lack of clarity. And there's a time to reflect here. So someone here is going to be going through a time of reflection. Okay, let's look at the three of pentacles here. Ten of swords. Page of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords about? Two of Pentacles. Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. Well, there's definitely here something here that you have to um, look at, okay, uh, Gemini? Uh, there is a, something karmically that you're, there's an ending of something karmic here. Again, I've been showing this as a transformation. Uh, even the thought worries, the way you would see things, uh, something is going to shift here for you, okay? Uh, now, you've got the Page of Pentacles. Someone here is not coming in with an offer, okay? Uh, whether it's money, a loan, something is not coming in at this point. This is maybe what you were going through. Something got dropped here, Okay. And the Queen of Wands reversed signifies someone here that's not in their element at this time. They're, they have a lot of repressed emotion. They, they're not feeling really motivated in the situation. But there is something that uh, is not being told here. Okay, so someone here is maybe keeping quiet about what's taking place here. Or there's someone here that's trying to get away with something. So let's see what... Uh, I'm going to ask for <clears throat> extra cards here for you, okay? So let's look at the Seven of Swords energy. What is this all about? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please show me what Four Geminis, what this is all about. Four Cups reversed. Four Swords. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Uh, so definitely here what's taking place is that maybe someone here is not speaking their truth. They're not saying the truth about a situation here and how they're feeling. There's been, there was some type of rejection here that took place here. And someone here is moving on. But at the same time, I also feel that they're moving on. But... They're, what they're, they're moving on from this type of rejection, okay? Maybe they weren't silent about it, whoever this is. Someone here is taking time out to heal their body, mind, and spirit and to gain the clarity that they need, okay? So there's clarity here that they're trying to figure out. Because I feel for some of you, you feel with the Neptune energy here that there is some type of, uh, there is with the moon energy, some type of uh, lack of clarity and you, t you do need time to reflect. And so when this happens here, okay, with the Five of Pentacles reversed here, uh, maybe at one point you were feeling left out, uh, uh, you know, abandoned or uh, in a situation here, ghosted. But you're coming full circle because it's reversed here. So there's some type of gain that's coming towards you. Something is coming towards you definitely. Now, let's say this has to do with money. I do see something coming in, okay? You're going to be receiving. That's 100%. It's going to be stable, okay? Collaboration. And I do see what, as the King of Pentacles coming in here as something very stable as well, okay? So just follow your intuition on this, all right? And uh, and uh, take your time when you're going with this moon energy because in April, around, uh, around April 12 here, we're going to be experiencing uh, 
Jupiter and Pisces conjunction with Neptune. And it's going to cause also a lot of dream. Okay, so your spirituality, your intuition, everything, even your dreams and visions, whatever gifts you have, they're going to expand. Now, let's look at these cards and see what we could get here. Okay, now let's let's take a few cards for the Ten of Swords energy, which is this one here. So let's look at the Ten of Swords. The Five of Wands reverse. You do have five, five, five. Okay. The Emperor. You're going to do things differently this time around. The Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands reversed and the Ten of Cups reversed. Something karmic in a relationship here. In a family, you're in harmony, not having the harmony that you wanted. Uh, there's been a lot of fighting, drama, okay? But there's an ending that's taking place with the Emperor energy. This is about setting, uh, setting up new goals, okay? Uh, new strategies, uh, new boundaries. Uh, not forgetting about the past of what you went through. Planning ahead very slowly. Okay, whatever this commitment is, okay, uh, you're going to do things differently here. Now, let's look at the chariot reversed. The magician. The ten of pentacles reversed. The devil reversed. There is some type of freedom here. Freedom or divorce for some of you out there, okay? Freedom from addictions, but uh, Capricorn energy, okay? This is Saturn. There was something there that, uh, un something was unjust here. Um, you know, whatever this money, whatever this Ten of Pentacles, this fruit of life did not come in for some of you. Um, you are raising your vibration. I do see that. You have all the tools to get anything you want. Uh, you're in a different type of energy right now. So there is some type of freedom for some of you. There is 1% of a divorce out there for some of you out there. But it's about doing things differently is what I'm picking up. Let's look at the Two of Pentacles reversed here. The Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. There's codependency here. Someone that needs to work on themselves. So there's going to be like a new communication coming in. There is going to be new communication coming in, okay? That's definitely, this is about having bright ideas, new ideas, okay? Manifesting very quickly in how you say things and how you perceive things. There is someone watching you online as well, but there's a, a lot of communication coming in. Um, someone here is, uh, there's some type of codependency in a situation or someone that's not working on themselves. Whatever the case is with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, this is about, the Wheel of Fortune talks about, um, you know, second chances taking place, you know, uh, it's about change, luck and karma coming in. Uh, something is definitely de destined and faded coming your way. And now let's look at the devil energy. The Knight of Pentacles. So you got the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. I believe Saturn is coming in. Could be a Capricorn energy coming in. You have Aries. You have many signs. Pisces. And the Eight of Wands reversed. There's still a delay for these messages to come in. A lot of you are taking. You're working on something here. You're you're working on yourself. You're putting energy into something here. And a lot of you. Uh, this has to do with finances. Okay, there's definitely someone coming in very slowly. It could be a Capricorn energy, Virgo or such. Uh, no, Virgo, uh, Capricorn or um, Taurus. But there's definitely someone coming in, taking their time. But these are people that, whoever this person is coming in, they're very kind energy and they're coming in with stability. This could be in love or in finances. You've got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Very beautiful energy, okay, of, uh, you know, being successful. The Queen and King of your castle here. Uh, it's very, it's a very beautiful energy, okay, when it comes to this. Now, let's look underneath the deck. Underneath the deck, you have the Five of Cups energy, okay? Uh, a lot of you, uh, like it's being shown to me with the Five of Cups, you have a lot of worries here. You're, 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 there's, you, um, you're having insomnia, you're not sleeping well. There's a lot of worry and fear um, about a situation. And at the same time, you are releasing. There's something that you're releasing here. The hurt, the guilt, the resentment. But what's being shown to me 
is with the Knight of Wands and the Chariot here. There's going to be action that's going to be taking place. And you're the cuspers for Gemini. You are going to take your power back and you're going to be moving forward here. Okay, some of you might be buying a vehicle. Some of you might be traveling with the Chariot energy. <clears throat> um, talks about triumph. Uh, also con having control of your, you know, which direction you're going and finding like direction. So definitely the, this is a very positive card. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. And now I will take out for you uh, from the Oracle Tarot cards as well. Uh, a couple of cards to see what else your archangels and angels want to tell you. Let's see what's going on here for you. So I will take out a few cards just to see in the overall energy for Gemini from April 4th to April 10th. Got the Six of Michael. That's the Six of Swords. The Four of Ariel. That's the Four of Wands. And the Three of Gabriel, which is the Three of Pentacles. Okay. And this, and underneath the deck, you got the Six of Raphael, which is the Six of Cups. So this, you have two Sixes here. So with the Six of Michael, it talks about, it's. It, it, he says, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sign of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel. With the Four of Wands energy, when you give, you also receive being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. But for me, the four, every L, it talks about also the four. It's, it's yeah, it's the, is it the four of wands? I think it's the four of wands. No, it's not the wands, sorry. It has to be the four of, um, yeah, this is the three of wands. It could be the four of cups here. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I think it's that. Okay, so, but anyways, it's when you give, you also receive and being resistant to change and extremes in how you save or spend money. And the three of uh, Gabriel talks about prosperity arising from wise planning. Take uh, time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. And last but not least, you got the six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. This is about, uh, this, this is the Six of Cups energy. Swords. This is the Three of Wands. This is the Four of Pentacles. So this is the Four of Pentacles, yes. Okay, I just had to make sure. Now I will take out an Oracle card uh, that I got for all of you here. Okay, and uh, this is called, these are Oracle cards. And they're called the Psychic Oracle cards from Debbie Malone. I just love these cards. And uh, we're going to choose one for you. Okay, for Gemini. Oops, not the whole deck. <laughs> One card, please. For Gemini. Here we go. And I will read you the passage. You got number 15, and it says hands. So let's see what this is all about. I'm curious here to see. So it says your, your hands are activated to allow you to touch, heal, and create. <clears throat> you have received this card as the universe wants you to understand the gifts you have been given. The psychic symbol of hands represents the hidden abilities you possess. The hands card can also represent that you are a gifted healer and it's time for you to use your natural born gifts to heal. Have you been drawn to taking up a course in natural therapy such as Reiki, massage or kinesiology? Are you looking at working with your hands in a hobby or work situation? You may be thinking about doing a trade. Gardening course, craft or jewelry making course, or are you interested in taking a drawing, painting, or photography course to express your creative side? The psychic symbol of hands can be a sign that you should explore the gift of uh, physiometry. Okay, hold on. Phys physio physiometry. Hmm. So it's. Uh, I'll spell it for you. It's P S Y C H O. M-E-T-R-Y. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Is the ability to hold an item and see the past, present, and future from the energy contained within the item. I do have that. I have that gift too. 
so I didn't know it was called this. Okay, so psychometry, yeah, psychometry is also a doorway to open you up to working with mediumship. If you have received a psychic reading card, it can be a confirmation you're on the right path and the universe is encouraging you to start using your hands in whatever area of your life you are drawn to. It is also a sign to conform, confirm that you have what it takes to achieve your goals. The psychic reading card can be a sign from a loved one in spirit realm who may have been gifted with their hands. When, am I do, when I am doing a reading and I see a psychic symbol of hands, it is sometimes connected to the person I am reading for, such as a father, grandfather, or partner who used their hands in their vocation or trade when they were alive. With this, with this symbol, it's sometimes you could receive the image of hands connected to tools or garage or shed. The sim psychic symbol tells me that a male loved one in spirit wants to connect through holding or using their tools. Okay, so this is your card. I hope you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful gems. Uh, don't forget that my mom is still praying for all of you three times a day here on YouTube and also on The Collective. So if you want to send a prayer to your neighbor, to people on The Collective or The Collective, or to yourself, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video because it's very important to like the video. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you next week. Please take care, gems. Bye. Love you.